Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a jewellery collection. If you're new here, hello. My name is Sherry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like the content that I'm putting out there, please like and subscribe. I hate saying that, it's so cheesy. But yeah, I'm going to show you all my day-to-day -day pieces that I wear or things that I interchange and swap out. So let's get going the two necklaces that i'm wearing the first one is from chaya rose this is new to my jewelry collection i'm really funny about wearing things around my neck because i have quite a lot of skin tags around my neck so i hate them getting caught it's really uncomfortable um so it's just this like chain mail sort of style and then the second one is from astrid and miyu i'll do like a little close-up for you but it's really dainty, really small, really cute, and just like nice to layer. Um, rings is what I get asked the most every single time on Instagram. Every time I post a picture and my rings are in it, everyone wants to know where my rings are from. So I'm just gonna run, run over my favorites. I'm gonna show you them brand by brand, just so it doesn't get confusing. But the first ring is this one from iCore Jewelry on Instagram. I love it. I've probably had this ring now for, well, these rings from I Call Jewelry for two years and I still love them. I still wear them every day. I have a similar one in silver, which is like this. They've lasted really well. I wear them every day. I wash my hands in them. They don't make my fingers green. They are incredible. It's a little Instagram website. Um, the next one same from my core jewellery is this like signet ring obsessed i do mix my metals i mix silver and gold i think it's just i think it's a vibe and then there's this like feathered sort of crinkly ring which is really nice to, i like to mix the big ones with the small ones i also have this um gold bracelet as well which I do like to wear if I'm not wearing as many rings because I feel like it's a bit overkill but they are all from iCore Jewelry all the brands will be linked down below in order that I put them in just so it's easier for everybody from a new brand that I've come to really love this is Chaya Rose so the first one is this really simple gold like puffy little sig they're all kind of like signet rings I'm just going to put it on that finger super gold love I, I genuinely love the style of these rings and then i have another one um that looks a bit like a croissant which is super cute i got these in a size medium i can't remember for the life of me what size i got these in but um i think they just come in small medium large and i think i normally just get a medium and everything so these are all my rings they're very affordable i think they're around 10 to 15 pounds maybe even less so these are all my day-to-day -day rings that everybody asks me about the only expensive piece of jewelry i own is my dior ring i got this um for christmas oh well, i bought it um quite late i had a gift card i was looking for the perfect like nice designer ring to just like I just didn't have any any expensive jewellery so it's this chain ring with the little CD on the front, the Christian Dior. I got this in a size medium. Um, I got it in Selfridges in the Christian Dior, Christian Dior, in the Dior concession um, and was £200 so yeah this is my ring. I like to put it on my thumb at the moment, it's really cute but I can fit it on most of my fingers so medium is a good all-rounder size. What's next? Astrid and Miu. I love this brand for earrings especially. They are possibly the only brand of earrings that I can wear that don't irritate my ears and that are really good quality and yeah and I've even so my piercings are I've got one up here I can't remember what this is called. Is it called a helix? I'm not sure. I got this done at the Astrid Box Park um, 
store they have a pit they have a woman that pierces pierces your ears which is really good um also my second here this is an astrid and Miu earring as well it's super easy to get on and off so they just look like that and just super easy to pop back in if i can see see where my hole is well i'm not doing a very good demonstration am i i don't have a very but yeah my first ear i had done when i was a baby so um it's actually still usable which is great i know a lot of people's heal up but yeah and i just have the same one on this side i don't have any extras but they do really amazing ear cuffs so if you're a bit of a pussy when it comes to <laughs> piercings which i was a little bit with this one this one really really hurt but you can just get a little cuff like this i have so many of these but they're so tiny and i always misplace them i need to put them all back in like the little bags like this but who actually does that every evening i need to become that, that human but yeah they just have these really easy newly just slip on and off really easy i've just been fiddling with my ears <laughs> they always go really red but yeah i should have you hands down favorite brand for earrings I also get asked all the time where my big hoops are from. These are also Astrid and Miu. Wow. I'm piling on the jewellery today, aren't I? I've had these for so long. Probably like three or four years. So I have lost the backs. But they are just the perfect day. I think they're the perfect day-to-day -day sort of hoops. They're not too big. They're not like tiny itty bitty ones they're really good quality they're not heavy either so they don't like drag down my ears which is really important um i love them they're just amazing amazing um i do have some smaller ones here i don't know where they're from but i will find some similar because i think these how much are these i think they're around like 60 pounds but again, if you're like me and really sensitive to jewellery, I would definitely say invest in jewellery as well because you don't want your ears to be burning and go green. Um, these possibly could be the smaller size from Astrid and Meet You, but I'm not 100% sure. I've also lost the back of this one. But again, they are just a bit smaller than these ones but they're really nice really elegant and just really spice up your life really to be quite honest but i do just layer them all on oh i don't have any back in this one so yeah i will link those those down below another brand that i've recently had jewelry from is this brand P D Paula. I'm gonna say I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm really bad. Sorry. Um, and I got these tiny. The back of this is on my sofa. I've just realised because I was like, where is this from? So they're just these tiny little hoops, and they have little like jewel sort of detail i don't know if you can see it. it's really really tiny but yeah super cute tiny little hoops again good for day to day they're not super heavy really good quality earrings i genuinely don't really wear cheap earrings in my ears it just doesn't work well for me and they go green and they just make my ears really sore so Astrid and Miu and then these are my new love. I also get asked a lot about these on Instagram, which I love and I do mix it out when I want a bit more of a girly vibe. So it's not too like crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna leave these ones in. Um what next? 
I do love a chain necklace so if I'm wearing like a plain outfit like a shirt, trousers that sort of thing and like try to edge it up a bit I do just pop on this like silver chain necklace. I'm pretty sure this is from weekday. I love this. I wore this for my birthday in March. We literally just managed to get out and have like din a dinner so this is really nice it just edges up a, an outfit it gives it a bit more interest i do also have a massive gold one which is pretty similar i can't remember where this is from but i will link it down below i'll try and find a similar one what else do i have here i have become obsessed with anklets i didn't get the vibe of it I was like is that not weird to have like a little bracelet around your, around your ankle but I friggin love it so I have these two this one is from Chaya Rose and then I'm pretty sure this one could also be from I Call Jewelry um but they just look so cute and so dainty and if you're wearing trousers and um, if you're wearing shorts or a skirt or something like that or cycling shorts trainers and some cute socks and then just like little anklets or little trainer socks and so you can really see the anklets it's just a vibe it's so cute and it's it's cute okay <laughs> you can also wear them as bracelets to be quite honest so if you have like skinny ankles you can probably just use your bracelets as anklets life hack um and i think that is all my jewelry that I've covered, I hope you've enjoyed and as I said before I will leave everything down below in, my, in the description box. I hope you have a lovely day, bye!